Welcome back, everybody. It's time to play the lottery again. I'm going to open another box of Hour of Devastation. I did not get a lottery card in my last box. Um, so hopefully I'll get my first lottery card. I have yet to pull a single lottery card at all. And all the openings that I've done so far. I haven't opened up a lot of stuff that has lottery cards in it, of course. But I have opened up quite a bit. So... Hopefully, it's days are numbered for eluding me, and I can actually pull a lottery card here soon. <laughs> so, I'll open a whole box of our devastation and hope that one of these packs might possess one of those shiny little morsels. <laughs> so, have you guys pulled any lottery cards out of boxes? Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, are you even into lottery cards? Do you care? Is it just something that you don't really not concern with? I think it was a cool kind of feature for these older boxes to include the lottery cards. Um, well, not really older. Newer to me. <laughs> but uh, uh, I like the lottery card idea. I think they should bring it back. Um, I would rather have lottery cards in the boxes than have the separate collector's boxes like they're doing now. Not really big on that whole thing, probably because I got so hosed on the one that I did purchase. <laughs> if I could just get this lid to stay up so I got some place to put the packs, that would be awesome. All right, so let's break into it and see what we get here. Yeah, I definitely would prefer to see them kind of put the lottery cards in the boxes. Uh, you know, like box toppers and stuff actually in the packs. I'd rather see like a, you know, one in every two box kind of kind of box topper type deal or something or one every three box but you know that's just me well we do have to pay attention to the young comments because we do have the the run them up ruins i call it the ramming up ruins and the abrade are both uh valuable uncommons in this set looks like our first uh rare is the wildfire eternal i don't think he's worth anything uh, i do have a scanner over here now to try and keep up on this stuff Yep, 24 cents, just what I thought. But we did get our first, first full art land, which I love. Um, it's one of the main reasons I love opening these Hour of Devastations. Even, if, even though there's not a lot of really super valuable cards, at least I know I can get my full art lands out of these, you know? <laughs> I do love the full art lands. And I love the whole uh, Egyptian theme. Uh, if you watch my other openings with, with this and I'm uncut, I think they should have done more uh, actual... Ooh, the Vizier of the True. Um, Fraying Sanity is our, our next uh, rare here. And another Full Art Island. Nice. So two Full Arts in a row. Um, wait, is this the one in three or is it the other one? Yeah, this is still one in, one in three packs, right? I think so. Um, <laughs> I like the Egyptian theme, but I thought they should have been uh mummy a mummy class why didn't they introduce a mummy class i mean isn't everybody getting sick of zombies couldn't they have done mummies um nothing good resilient kenra uh, another one i don't think really oh another full art maybe is this set all full arts <laughs> or am i just losing my mind oh that's right i think the last box did the same thing like the first several packs were all full arts and then i started getting basics after that uh they might be clumped together so it's late. It was a long day at work. I didn't get much sleep last night, so yeah. I'm not having trouble sleeping lately. Um, Cursed Horde, Magaroth, Consigned to Oblivion, the Scarab God. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. That is the uh, most expensive card in the set. Let's check current value. Current value, $32. So there we go. There's our, our big hit. Uh, we didn't get that in the other box that we opened, so I'm glad that we got it in this one because that is a good pull, and that makes me feel a little bit better about opening this box because these boxes are not terribly cheap anymore. Um, they're running about the $90 to $100 range on average currently, uh, so they are starting to crawl up there a little bit, getting a little harder to find. Um, Hour of Revelation. Uh, I don't think the hour... Oh, yeah, some of the hours are, right? Um, let me see. See if this one's worth anything. Come on, scanner. There it goes. Uh, $1.39. So, barely over a dollar, but not enough to call it a hit. So, <laughs> what'd you guys think of this set? Uh, 
I think there should have been scarabs. I think there should have been kind of a, a poor man's mocks version of like scarabs, you know, <laughs> like there was on some of the early sets. They tried to do some scarabs, but they were just, you know, way too underpowered because it was, oh, there's the run em up ruins. They were way too underpowered because that was the time in Magic's history where they were really trying to, hey, the scorpion god, holy moly. Getting gods falling out of the woodwork here. So there's our second mythic. Um, and another full art. I guess, this, is this one all full arts? I'm losing it. Uh, I didn't think this one was all full arts. I thought it was one of one and three or one of four packs. Uh, the Scorpion, oh yeah. Let me, I don't think the Scorpion God is one of the more valuable ones, but I could be wrong. Yeah, 95 cents. But it is our second mythic. So, there is that. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought about this set, this this little block here, Amon Ket and uh, Our Devastation. Crypt of the Eternals. Saving Grace. Hour of Devastation, the card in the set. This to me is like bands naming their album after one of the songs on the album. <laughs> I really don't care for that. Oh, we got our first foil finally. Yeah, it's been a while. We haven't gotten a single foil. Oh, and another full art. I guess they're all full arts. Our devastation is worthless. All right. Um, I don't know where to put my foil. I guess we'll move stuff over and we'll put the foils over here. All right. So, yeah, I'm starting to think it's all full arts on this set. I thought there was, I thought it was one and three. I don't know. I'll just keep going. Eventually, I'll either hit a basic land or realize I'm a dummy. One, or, one of the two, you know. <laughs> if new, Inferno Jet. Sunscourge and Endless Sands. I think that one's worth a couple bucks. I think it's a decent, decent card, if I recall. So yeah, I'm not seeing any basics so far. Um, or 29 cents, one or the other. I am completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure why I just haven't... Uh, I've always, you know, I'm a musician, so I've always been more of a, you know, late night kind of guy, tend to send, tend to stay up really late, working on music and stuff, we're gonna Dream Stealer, uh, kind of cool car, but I don't think it's worth anything, so, I've always kind of been more of a, yeah, 14 whole cents, stupid mythics, man, they introduce these mythics and it just destroys the value of everything else, I mean, now the old sets would have had a 14 cent rare. That would have had to been a real bonehead card to be that low value. Now it's like commonplace. Uh, the only thing anybody cares about is the mythics most of the time. So I think they've really kind of ruined the values of the sets by adding the mythics in. But that's just my opinion. Uh, due to the dead, reason to believe. Isn't that some gay 80s song title? No. Anyway, <laughs> fervent paincaster. Foil. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of tend to like to sleep during the daytime, but when you have a full-time job or three, um, that's not possible. But my body still wants to do it. Still wants to stay up all night and sleep all day. So, speaking of gay 80s songs, uh, <laughs> Vizier of the True, uh, Vizier of the Anointed. We got Viziers everywhere. And the Locust God. Nice. This is the third most valuable card in the set. Weighing in at eleven dollars, and that's our third mythic. So we got three mythics, uh, all gods, all in the first stack. So we're only a third of the way through the box now with this pack, and we've already got three mythic gods, and um, looking looking pretty decent. So, although it's probably going to be downhill from there. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't see, we've already got the most valuable card in the set, so unless we double tap it. <laughs> um, all right, we got a leave chance. I don't think any of the dual cards are worth anything in this set. Uh, Merciless Eternal Uncommon Foil. And another full art. So I guess I was wrong. I guess this is all full arts and our devastation. What's the one that's every, one in every three? God, there's... I've been opening so many sets that I'm just not familiar with and such random secession lately that uh, I forget which one does what. I really need to take time. Hour of Eternity. And actually kind of... Oh, there's a... There, okay. 
<laughs> as soon as I give up hope and move the piles over because I don't see any basic lands at all, we got a basic land. So that's what, 11 and 1? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 1. <laughs> so the whole first stack was all full arts, three mythic gods, and not very many foils and not very many good rares, but... Three Mythic Gods and all full arts on the first stack. Let's see if the second stack's all basic lands. That would be weird. <laughs> oh, Watsy. You, you, uh... Yeah, you confuse us sometimes there, Watsy. Um, all right. Ruber Hoopoo. Hope Tender struggled to survive and refused to cooperate like this pack. And a basic land. So are we literally going to have a stack of full arts, a stack of basics? Hopefully that means the other stack's all full arts and we're going to get two out of every three, which would be really awesome. <laughs> but I have a feeling the whole rest of the box is going to be basics because I think it's one out of three packs. So we've already got our one out of three. Uh, very weird, very weird box. Striker, appeal to authority, Bane Whip, Punisher, and the Ramming Up Excavator. You may play land cards from your graveyard. If only there was an artifact that could do that. Oh, full art foil. Nice. That is shiny goodness right there. Ooh, the excavator is actually worth a few bucks. Um, that one is a currently almost $5 card. And basic land again. So that's very weird. Oh, and there's our insect token. I think our insect token is actually worth uh, like a buck in this set. Bump in the camera. Sorry. Yep. Dollar. Dollar for an insect token. Did I get any others? I don't think so. I think that's the first one I remember seeing. Yep. Of course, I am pretty exhausted. But there's our, uh, we'll put the token up there with our, with our run em up ruins. So what's your favorite card in this set or, uh, or a monquette? Um, I really do love this block. I love opening it because there's always that chance of lottery card. Although... Not a very good chance, mind you. Oh, I see a foil in there. Scavenger Grounds. Uh, I don't think that one's worth anything. Oh, that's a foil rare. The Pride Sovereign. Oh, Scavenger Grounds worth two bucks. Nice. Um, so it's add colorless to your mana pool or pay two, tap it, sacrifice a desert, uh, exile arc all cars from all graveyards. Yeah, that's pretty good if you're playing somebody that's got all those... Uh, like flashback and stuff like that. Uh, and then our, there's our Pride Sovereign. So. Pride Sovereign, 60 cents non-foil. Let me switch it to foil real quick. Give me just a second. Let me check the foil price. $1.23, there we go. Not bad. I think our best foil so far is the land, which is <laughs> pretty funny, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. Not the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> oh, that was a good movie. Oh, good old uh, Jim Carrey. Even though he's flipped his lid lately, he's still funny. Um, Earthshaker Kendra. Kendra, wasn't that that playboy girl you used to date Hugh Hefner? <laughs> 49 whole cents. Big money. Big money. Yeah, I think overall these sets, some of my favorites of the ones so far that I've that I've seen that I missed because I, uh, you know, I like the Egyptian theme. I love the full art lands and just some really kind of cool, cool concepts. Another run them up ruins and a mirage mir mirage mirror. Okay, mirage mirror. Yeah, what the hell's wrong with me? Um, mirage mirror. Cool. Um, three to cast. Uh, Two and Mirage Mirror becomes a copy of target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. That could be pretty handy, uh, especially because it's repeated. You can it do, you don't have to tap it or anything, and it doesn't say it can only be cast once a turn or done once a turn. So you can keep doing it. So you can copy something, then copy something else, copy something else. Two dollar hit. So far we're uh, we're not doing too terrible on this box. We're about halfway through and got half our money back. So. <laughs> if we keep on this spree, we might actually get our money back on this box, which is rare for openings these days. Seems like the sealed product's always worth more than the actual cards themselves. Hash up, uh, Claim to Fame, Dune Diviner, and 
Hostile Desert. Another desert we can sack to that other car there. Our stupid basic land. Oh, that one's not worth anything. All right. So, no lottery cards. I'm uh, not surprised. All the boxes I got of our are all from separate cases because I couldn't afford to get a whole case, or at least I, 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 I mean, I could probably afford it, but I haven't found a good enough price on a whole case. I've just been buying single boxes. A braid, there's our other good hit. And Driven to Despair is our rare. So um, I haven't found any boxes that were as good a prices as the sink or cases of boxes that were as good a price as the single boxes. So I've just been buying single boxes here and there. Well, I usually try and pick up two or three at a time, but um, I think I've got a total, I've opened, I've opened, uh, I think I've gotten a total of six or seven. I've opened, this is the second one. So I think I got four or five left. Um, and I, I'll keep picking them up when I find decent deals on them. Uh, Cause I do like this set, as I've said. Farm to the market, coral beetle, torment of scarabs, and apocalypse demon. Very cool name, very eerie artwork, very costly. Four plus two black. Flying apocalypse is demon, demon. Apocalypse demons, power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. That's not bad. Beginning of your upkeep, taps, uh, tap apocalypse demon unless you sacrifice another creature. Not so good. That should be like a. Four, four total cost cards, and then it might actually be stackable. I bet it's going to be 20 cents. What is it? What is it? Oh, 13 cents. <laughs> I was off by a few cents. That's uh, just ridiculous that rare cards are coming up in here at 13 and 14 cents. Come on, Watsy. you got to do something to make the sets a little more valuable. The Mythics are just killing it. Take out the Mythics. Make everything rare. Put in box toppers every, every two or three boxes. Yeah. That's how I would fix it. Sunset Pyramid, which feels like it's twice as thick as the rest of the cards in here. Doomfall, Real Form, and Nahib. Another Mythic. Nice. Zombie Minotaur Warrior. Cost 5, 2 red, and 3 colorless. He's a 4, 6. Afflict 3. So whenever it becomes blocked, defending player loses 3 life. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, add 1 red mana to your mana pool for each 1 life your opponents have lost this turn. That's a... Ah, in a red deck, that's pretty handy. And we got a foil, a Kenra Eternal. Didn't we get that already? No, okay, it was a Merciless Eternal. And yet another basic land. So it appears like the whole second stack. Ooh, this guy's worth a little bit. He's worth uh, 825 according to this thing. So our fourth Mythic and our third big hit in the box. We're doing pretty good on this box so far. So hopefully the rest of it's not a complete dumpster fire. So... Keep this uh, value going here, box. Doing okay. Better than the last box. I think the last box was pretty pretty low. I think I lost money on that one. Uh, Torment of Scarabs and Uncaged the Menagerie. That's a mythic? Wow, that's a mythic too. And a full art. Back to full arts. Nice. Um, Yeah, he's a 72 cent mythic. But we got to put him up in the mythic pile even though he's worthless. I didn't miss any, did I? I don't think so. So we're up to five mythics. I don't think we're gonna get any more. And we got a whole stack. So we got 13 packs left and we've already gotten five mythics. So this is either gonna be just a crazy mythic loaded box or it's all downhill from here, people. <laughs> I would like to double tap that scarab god. That would be nice. Or of course, get an invocation, you know. Yeah. Not 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 being choosy. Uh, Resolute Survivors, Quarry Beetle, Sand Strangler, and Scavenger Grounds. Is that our second one? Yeah, that's our second one. Yep, there's another one up here. So we're double tapping the rares. I was hoping to double tap the mythics, but you know, we'll double tap, double tap the rares. That's good too, as long as they're rares that are actually worth a buck or two. So, now we are getting a lot of the full art. So, when I tell it's about to die, I might lose my uh, ability to look up prices here soon. <laughs> Hopefully not. Come on, tablet. Just wait a few more minutes. This is Defeat, Well Manifestation, Unraveling Mummy, and Adorned Pouncer. Yeah, I don't think he's worth it. Probably 10 cents, 15 cents. Ooh, 50 cents. Ooh, he's a big one. 
What do you guys think of the Mythics? Um, for any of you that were around before Mythics and when Mythics showed up, do you think it, uh, think it was a good thing or do you think, like I think, it just kind of destroys the value of the rare slot? Um, it just kind of seems to have brought everything else down. Vizier of the Anointed. And Torment of Hellfire. That one's a good one. Nice. That one is up there on the price list, so another good rare hit. Yeah, 765. So we're getting some good rares. We're getting some good mythics. Not a bad box so far. Uh, we're up to, uh, looks like $75 in value thus far, according to the little card scanner thing. Two a striker, Desert Hold, Dunes of the Dead, and I feel a foil in here. There's an extra card anyway. Hazard's Undying Fury. Oh, nope, I was wrong. Got just very thick card in there. That basic land was twice as thick as all the other basic lands. Hazard is a whole 10 cent rare. I mean, that's just, come on, that's pathetic. A 10 cent rare? I mean, I know there's a lot of cards out now, so there's going to be a lot of them that just aren't worth anything because nobody's stacking them in anything, but, I mean... They really shouldn't be that low on a rare. I mean, uh, anyway, Steward of Solidarity, Tenacious Hunter, another Dunes of the Dead, and Nimble Obstructionist. Flying, flash, cycling. When you cycle him, you counter target activated or triggered ability you don't control. He's a 3 1 for 3. That's pretty good. Gotta be worth at least a quarter. <laughs> Come on. 75 cents, oh, three quarters. <laughs> I just don't get it. I mean, there's decent cards that I keep coming across in these sets that are just worth nothing. And I, I, I the only thing I can think of is there's just the fact that the mythics are killing the values of all the, all the cards. Anything that's not mythic just doesn't have any value, it seems. Unless it's some kind of crazy rare. And conventional tactics, Crypt of the Eternals, another abrade, nice. And DeZero with wise, eyes wide open. I'm not going to sing it. Oh, and a foil uh, Resolute Survivors. Not bad. Uncommon foil. And our stupid basic land. The uh, Jeru is a whopping 38 cents. <laughs> I don't know. I'm done ranting about it. <laughs> I think it's weird that rares are worth so little nowadays, but... What do you guys think? Do you think uh, there should be a little more value across the board, a little more evenly distributed value, or do you like the fact that the Mythics are just ridiculously overvalued? Um, Inferno Jet and Buntu's Last Reckoning. I think the God Buntu is worth something, but not his Reckoning. And then a Dauntless Even Common Foil, and a stupid Basic Swamp. Oh, I guess this one's worth a whole dollar twenty-eight, but yeah, not big enough to put in the pile. Keep it in the under dollar fifty pile here. All right, getting close to the end here. Only a few more packs to go, looks like. So, Rezekith's right, Ominous Sphinx, claim, and claim to Fame, an Abandoned Sarcophagus. If you ever come across an Abandoned Sarcophagus, maybe not a good thing to investigate. Just, you know, saying, ooh, an insect token. Another insect token out there. Uh, 18 cents. That's, that's what you get. That's what you get when you, uh, investigate an abandoned sarcophagus. Okay, so we got five packs left. Let's, let's hope for a lottery card in the end here, right? <laughs> Probably not. We totally fizzled on value here about half a stack ago. So, Doomfall, Resolute Survivors again, Non-Foil, non Eternal of Harsh Truths, and Emmet Eternal. Um, I think he might be a buck. Come on, Skinner. Yeah, stupid basic island. He's 33 cents. All right, so, yeah, we fizzled out, and so far I'm about 20 bucks away from getting my money back on this, because I think I paid about 100 bucks for this box after shipping and all that, so. Yeah, not looking so pretty. And no lottery card. Steward of Solidarity, Imaginary Threats, Infer Deadlands, and... The okra. I think the okra might be a buck. Oh, my, my battery's dying on my tablet, and it's a... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I closed the uh, thing. There it is. Mm, I don't know, know if I'll even be able to see it, but I'll try. 
<laughs> the, the screen just went to the, the energy saving mode. Oh, Oker's a whole 20 cents. All right, three more packs. Come on, tablet, you can make it. <laughs> so it looks like I'm about $78 in value so far. Um, of course, that's not what I could get for these cards because, you know, there's seller fees and, you know, shipping and all that stuff. So, so yeah, I've lost quite a bit. Angel of Condemnation is a rare. Oh, another 33 cent rare. All right, we got two packs left to pull something really, really big in the close to make this all worthwhile here. Disposable mummies. Yeah. The disposable mummies for my for my money are, are a good bet. You know, you don't have them sitting around afterwards, just taking up space. Our promise. Not as funny as it sounded in my head when it came out. <laughs> Dollar seventy-four. All right, last pack. Is there a lottery card? We won't know until we open it. Let's find out. Uh, I don't see it. Probably not. Yep. Uh, all being from different cases, there's a good bet that uh, overcome dagger worthy and dream stealer stole our dreams of making money on this box or at least breaking even. Oh, we got a foil rare in the close, an overwhelming splendor. Come on, dream stealer, scan, scan. I can't see you. Yep, there it goes. That did not sound like a good bing. Oh, I guess we'd already gotten that one. Let's try this overwhelming splendor foil. Oh, three dollars, and that's the non-foil. Let me see if I can see the screen long enough to see the foil. Come on, make it foil. Hurry up, it's gonna die. Ooh, five bucks for the foil. So, not bad. We did get a, a decent foil rare in the close, but uh, yeah, looks like we're only about eighty-five dollars, including that one. So. Yeah, I lost 15 bucks opening this box. <laughs> it's kind of funny how a lot of the sealed product is always worth more than the actual cards themselves. So I would say hold on to your boxes. Don't open them. <laughs> but yeah, you can't get the cards unless you open the box. So it's kind of a catch-22. You either get value or you get cards. <laughs> so it depends on if you're a player or an investor. So that's a topic for another time. I really appreciate all you guys watching the video and watching all my other videos. Uh... I'm pretty blown away by how many views I've gotten in the couple months that I've been on here. And I really appreciate it all. Every comment and like and subscription really, really helps. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is a lot of fun for me. I work six days a week at uh, jobs that aren't bad, but still not what I want to be doing. You know, this is something I actually want to do. So I really enjoy this. And if it uh, turns into a little bit of a extra income here and there, that would be awesome too. But even if it doesn't, I'm still just having a lot of fun opening these boxes for you guys and sharing the experience with you And as I get back into the game after a 12-year absence. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.